what is up everybody welcome back to the video i hope y'all have an amazing day as usual i'm back with the youtube video before we get today's video please make sure to like subscribe and always comment down below it really really helps out the videos so it is currently 8 45 in the morning should i really be doing it eating all this stuff no am i yes uh we're gonna be reviewing some exotic um asian foods um I'm not talking like pig ears or monkey brains. They actually eat that type of stuff in China. I know. Um, but like snacks and ramen. So mostly Korean. So I was at Kmart yesterday and um, they have so much, you know, just, just Asian foods that you can't get in regular supermarkets. Went to the one in Paramus. So let's give this a try. First thing we have here is, uh, I think my brother already got to these because they're already open, but you can see these. Asian Cheetos. I've never had these before. Um, they don't look like your traditional Cheetos. They, they're they white. I mean, there are like white cheddar Cheetos, but these are actually white. They're like a beige -ish color. Let's give them a try. What are they supposed to taste like? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Wow. It's very different. Oh my gosh. It's sweet, it's really sweet. I feel like I'm eating a mouthful of sugar. You can't go wrong with the original Cheetos. This is not nearly as good as the American Cheetos, but it's not bad. Yeah, I give it a five out of 10. The weird part is they're addictive. Like I want to eat more. Yeah, let's put that away. Um. Mm -mm. Don't get those. All right. The next thing we got here is Mogu Mogu. It is a strawberry drink. Looks like it has a little pieces of maybe like jelly or strawberry inside. Let's see. Um, twenty five percent strawberry juice. So what is the rest? Strawberry? I don't know. Give it a try. Smells really good. Wow, it smells like really artificial. But let's give it a try. Hmm. Okay. Again, really sweet. Wow. Mm. Mm. But refreshing as hell. And I love chewing on whatever these jelly bits are. Really good. Mmm. I'm gonna drink this whole thing. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Mmm. That was really good. This right here is um, Shirakiku uh, Carmated Ramun or Ramun drink. It's strawberry. It's, this is Japanese. Uh, I think the other two things were Korean. That's Korean, I think. Is this Korean? Let's see. No, it's product of Thailand. Okay. Product of Thailand, huh? I didn't know they had Thai stuff. Obviously, they would. I think they have Vietnamese, everything. I don't think they have Filipino stuff, though. So what you got to do is you got to uh, get this thing right here. Whatever this. Pop this John in here and go. There we go. And there's always like a little marble. I've had these before. It's been a little while, so. And I don't think I've had this exact brand. So let's give it a try. For soda standards, it's not really that sweet. It's very carbonated, but I like it. Hmm. Yeah, it tastes more just like a, like a, like somebody put, um, yeah, okay, you got carbonated water, and then they drop in a little bit of strawberry flavoring and a little bit of sugar. That's what I'm tasting, basically. Hmm. So, oh, Fizzing all over the place. Not bad. I give it a 7 out of 10. This right here is a good 9 out of 10. My dog's over here. Probably wants to eat all this stuff. Um, okay, next thing we got is these mama noodles right here. So, uh, it's shrimp flavored. I already cooked it for the convenience because I don't want to edit this video. I hate editing. It's very hard sometimes to edit videos. I got these chopsticks. Oh, that ass. 
neighbors uh, are blowing their leaves at eight o'clock in the morning. That's actually not too bad. Eight o'clock's not that early. Mm. And the noodles are good. Oh, it is a little spicy. It's a little hint of spice in here. Let's give us like slurp it. Apparently, this is what Koreans do. They slurp their soups really loud, and apparently it makes it taste better. So let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, it's actually really good. Um, all right, I would give this a seven out of ten. It kind of just yeah, it tastes a little bit. It tastes very similar to the college the college student ramen packets, but um, it tastes a little bit better. It's just a little bit fresher, and I feel like I get a shrimp taste because this is shrimp flavored. And I get like a little tint of shrimp in there. I feel like I taste tomato too. Mm. I could eat this all day. Wow, it's really good. Okay. Next thing, we got more noodles. We're going to try these Bulldak Extra Spicy Noodles. Two times spicy. Uh oh. I'm not good with spice. This is what they look like inside. They look spicy. All right, we just gotta make sure I don't get any, they don't cross contaminate. All right, let's try this. Oh my God, this looks spicy. Okay. Pray for me, guys. Oh Lord. And they keep falling too. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Damn. My mouth is literally watering. Oh my god. Wow. Let's try a little bit of this juice. Mm. 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 Wow, that was spicy. This might not help a lot, but what we got right here, this is mochi. Okay. I don't know what mochi is. Maybe I think I've had it once, but I forget what it was. It's basically ice cream, I think. Comes in three flavors, mango, and pineapple, and strawberry. Let's give the strawberry a try. Mm. Okay. Whew. It's still burning. This right here, zero out of 10, unless you like spice. Mm. 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 These bulldack no noodles ain't no joke. Nothing's helping. I'm gonna be trying something that I need to get a knife for. I'm gonna go get milk. Give me a second, y'all. Don't go anywhere. gosh crazy Whew. oh my god mm. Mm. this drink is so good mm. let's get back to the mochi i think it's like cornstarch with like look at this it's really stretchy oh my god i don't like this Mm. Oh, it's right case with, with fruit flavored and bean paste. Mm -mm. This ain't my thing. Oh my god. Why is this so spicy? 
Oh my god. My mouth is still on fire. It's not so bad. Okay, relax. All right, now we're gonna try kimchi. I've never had kimchi before. Apparently kimchi spicy too. I hope it's not crazy spicy. Wow, very potent. This is what kimchi looks like. All right, so it is product of, where is this from? South Korea. Why do, do they even need to put the South Korea? I mean, obviously, it's not coming from North Korea. Does North Korea have any exports? I don't think so. Maybe they do. I mean, okay. Um, you know what? Get all that freaking spice off here. I guess I'm using an index card. Don't judge me. Um, let's get this. give this kimchi a go. I hope it's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of heat. But wow. What's weird is I just had this kimchi and I feel a lot better now. This, you know what I'm, after this video, I'm dumping this in the sewer drain. I'm not, <laughs> I'm dumping it down the toilet straight up. Never having those noodles ever again. Hmm. Hmm. Am I crazy for thinking that this will go really well in a hot dog? Hmm. Hmm. Has a weird aftertaste, but I like it. Apparently, Gordon Ramsay puts kimchi in his grilled cheese. No, sir. Absolutely not. Grilled cheese, kimchi and grilled cheese are good, but not together. Um, let's get back to these noodles. Mm. These noodles are good. Mm. Let's drink. Mmm. Mmm. What's next? Aha. Okay, we got kimchi noodles. Kimchi, but in noodle form. Let's give these a try. Hopefully they're not spicy. Look at all that steam coming up. Looks really good. Mm. Wow, it's really hot. Wow, really hot. Okay. Um... Let's just give this a minute to, uh, you know, relax and not be so hot. Why did I say relax? Um, let's try this tea. I love Asian tea, in particular Chinese tea. This is from Korea. Okay. Cheers. Mm. I didn't put any sugar in it or anything like that. I didn't get a good taste because... I've already been tasting so many other things that have so much flavor. So what am I going to do with this? Um, what's the least flavorful thing here? Probably this soda. So. There we go. My dog's barking. I don't think there's anybody at the door. I didn't hear a knock. Nope, just my brother. All right, y'all, let's give this uh, tea a try. See what I said? Asian tea is really good. It's not as good as, like, Lipton, but it has a nice flavor to it, you know? Like, it just tastes light. Like, it's great to have if you're going to have, like, some dumplings or something. Get some tea. I mean, forget, forget like, a juice. Nah, get some tea. Mm-hmm. Okay, so last thing we're going to try here is... We got a dragon fruit right here. Look at this thing. <laughs> Looks really weird. Uh, I think I've had dragon fruit before, but I forget what it tastes like. It's been like years, so let's give it a try. 
I've had dragon fruit flavored things, but does that really count? So apparently it's supposed to be like, yeah, it's a, uh, oh, I, I should be, I should be using a cutting board. This is definitely going to stain the counter. Okay. Um, let me get a cutting board, guys. I apologize. I'm not editing this video, so forget that. Uh, let's, but a cutting board is right here, so I'll just be back in a second, y'all. All right. Well, okay, here we go. Okay. I didn't think that maybe, well, there are also white dragon fruits as well that are white on the inside that are like this exact color, but they're white on the inside. Okay, let's make a little bit of room for the cutting board. Oh my god, I, I, look, like, I look like a Nikocado avocado right now eating all this food, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just taking a couple bites of the food. I'm not like eating the whole thing. This is not a food challenge. We're just trying new things here, so. Oh. All right, so we're gonna cut it like this, I guess. Um, I don't know how else you would cut a dragon fruit. Okay, there we go, okay. I guess we're gonna cut it down the middle. <gasps> this is freaking beautiful, look at that. Oh, my hands are gonna get stained, I think. Oh, oh well. Oh wow, you can just peel it. Look at that. And it comes right off, wow. That is pretty cool, all right. What, what do I do with this? Like, I don't have a napkin over here. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to use some kind of paper. Well. Or I could just wipe it under the table. No one would know. Or in my pants. They don't do anything in my jeans, so we're all good. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to cut it up. I'm definitely eating this with the chopsticks because it was a little messy. Um, yeah, this might stain my cutting board too. It's so dark. It's like so red. All right, let's give this dragon fruit a try. Hmm. It's okay. You know what? It's all right. Um, tastes like cucumber. Like, it, it tastes like almost nothing. Like, it's a good palate cleanser, you know? Which is probably why I should have had it in the beginning. You know, like, I'll eat it, but I, I won't, re I'm not really happy about it. You know what this would go good in? This would really go good in, like, a smoothie or something. You mix it with some other fruits, like, um... Like strawberries or peaches or pretty much anything or you make like a, a red drink and put a little sugar in here maybe a little bit of lemon this would be really good but on its own it's okay it's good i give it a six out of ten uh these cheetos like i said are getting a five out of ten this drink right here will probably get a seven out of ten these noodles are getting a zero out of ten because they almost killed me the kimchi i'll give it eight out of ten uh these uh kimchi oh we gotta try the kimchi noodles that's right all right, kimchi noodles. Wow. Mm. And you don't taste anything like kimchi. Nah, let's put some kimchi on the noodles. How about that? Not all over it, because I don't want to ruin the noodles. You know, I'd rather eat the noodles by themselves, but I want to see what a little bit of kimchi would taste like on the noodles. I don't want to sneeze all over the food, so that's why I, I held it in. All right, let's try a little bit of kimchi on the actual noodles themselves. Right. Happy spring break, y'all. If it is your spring break, it's my spring break. It's a Monday, 8.45 in the morning. Well, it's probably like 9, 9 at this point, but yeah. Um... And kimchi just flew away. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Not with noodles. Mm. Mm. I have to say, though, these noodles are really good. This is definitely going to get an 8 out of 10. These noodles right here, the shrimp ones, probably going to get a 10 out of 10. This drink, 9 out of 10. And this tea, I'd give it 8 out of 10. Pretty good. So overall, the worst thing I tried today was this shit, which will literally kill you. Um, and my favorite, uh, I'd have to go with um, the shrimp noodles. They were really good. So that's going to be for today's video. Uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and God bless all you guys.